social environmental responsibility, new parenting and cosmology, and its place in, in space and mm. the universe and that sense of perspective that comes from that. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery. Through that, I discovered the overview effect, which is this understanding that all astronauts who have been far enough away from Earth to see that is just this tiny ball floating in the, the vastness of space come away with an innate sense of purpose, really, when they come back down to Earth and just the fragility of existence at all uh, and just how, how unimportant borders are. They, they serve to divide rather than unite. And all of human endeavour seems to be wasted in those issues rather than things that actually affect us, like climate change, like the, the uh, health and education for everybody and so on and so forth. I had a notion to make a scale model of the Earth and the Moon um, because last December was the 50th anniversary of the Earthrise photograph, which is the very first photograph of planet Earth taken as a single thing in its entirety. And it changed the way that humanity saw itself. I made this giant globe filled in every border that's in existence right now and just wrote in it, in every single country, in every single island, in every single landmass, people live here over and over and over again. And then I, would, I went up with a couple of groups of kids and we're like, right, let's pretend we're astronauts. We're going to go to space and we'd put on our spacesuits and then we'd you know, blast off and we'd make the journey across that city block to the moon and we'd do a loop around. And I was like, okay, now look, look back. And you know what do you see? Most of it is water. 70% of the surface of the Earth is water. So it's only in the 30% of the dry bits of this tiny planet in the middle of this vast atmosphere is where people can live and that's it.